Assalamu alaikum, my dear students. Hope you are all well by the grace of Almighty Allah. I am Shanti Darhman, Assistant Teacher of National Ideal English Version School. Welcome to our NIEBS Home School. I am Shanti Darhman, Assistant Teacher. Today I am going to taking a science class for the student of class 2. And our today's topic is draw, label and color different parts of plants and discussion of assignment and chapter 11 reading them. Our lecture number 50 and homework number 12 and here is my name and this is my contact number. In our today's class we will discuss, we will give you a homework. You will draw, label and color this and submit it uh, after the Eid vacation and also today we will give you an assignment and you submit it uh, in the 29th May 2021 and today we will also discuss chapter 11. Now let's start our class. At first we will discuss about the homework. Our homework for the next uh, after the vacation will be this thing draw level and color the picture. Here I am draw a picture and there is a picture of a flower tree and also uh, we uh, mentioned the different parts of these plants like this is a flower tree, this is the petal, this is the leaf, root and stem. This is the stem. So I draw this picture and level it. You will uh, draw this picture in your homework copy in this white page. You draw this picture in your homework copy in this white page date homework number and uh, this picture you will, at first you draw the picture then level and color the picture this is the homework after Eid vacation and now I will discuss the assignment this assignment you will submit 29th May 2021 and you will do this homework in a A4 size offset paper a4 size offset paper you will do this assignment and this assignment also you will found in your book in page number one to, uh, 112 you will found this assignment in your book in 112 page and also 113 page this is the assignment now we will discuss this assignment assignment how does shadow form Answer, light always moves in a straight line. Sometimes it cannot pass through objects that fall on its way like trees, animals or people. When something comes in the way of the light, it stops the light and a shadow is formed on the other side of the wall or on the ground. So we can say a shadow is formed when an object does not allow light to pass through it and here is a picture there is a picture of a tree and here is the shadow shadow form here is a sunlight when sun gives the light to the on the tree then a shadow created under the um, on the ground so here is the rays of, uh, rays of the sunlight and uh, shadow created on the ground and this is your assignment you do this assignment in a a4 size offset paper and submission date 29 may 21 now we will discuss chapter 11 chapter 11 is about the need for air the name of this chapter is the need for air now we will uh, read this chapter and discuss about this chapter the need for air. What is air? All living things need air. Air is all around us, even in the room where you are sitting, but it cannot be seen, tasted or smelled unless it is dirty. So what is air? Exactly. Air is a mixture of different gases. Again I repeat, air is a mixture of different gases. Now. We cannot see the air when it is clean, but we can feel the air when it moves like 
when the wind blows we can even hear it when it moves very fast so we can uh, feel air when the wind blows or when uh, the fan is moving very fast we can hear the sound of the air so what does air contains what is the uh, materials inside the air air contains water vapor dust particles smoke and germs again i repeat air contains water vapor dust particles smoke and germs now air contains water vapor have you ever seen steam coming out of boiling water this steam is water vapor when we pour water into a pot and keep the pot on the stove then after a few minutes we found that the water is boiling and steam coming from the water this water uh, this steam is water vapor here the picture in the picture you can see that a pot is on the uh, stove and here water is boiling so steam is coming from the water so this is the steam this is the water vapor and this is the liquid water so air too contains water vapor water vapor is very important for rains without water vapor we cannot have no rain so air contains dust particles and smoke air also contains dust particles and smoke burning rubbish wood leaves fire crackers and plastic releases smoke in the air smoke coming out of factory chimneys fumes of vehicles create smoke in the air so these vehicles fumes um, create air pollution air contains germs air also contains germs air contains very teeny living organisms called germs air contains very teeny living organisms called germ these germs are dangerous they can infect us and make us ill some uh, diseases germs moving in on the air so we have to be careful smoke dust germs are harmful to us so we must try to keep the air free from this this properties of air air has the following properties we cannot see air but we can feel it when it moves air fills up empty spaces air has weight air gives shape to things such as football balloons and tires so properties of air are we cannot see air but we can feel it when it moves air fills up empty spaces air has weight air gives shape to things such as football balloon and tires what is wind moving air is called wind breeze and storm are two types of wind a gentle moving wind is called breeze we enjoy breeze because it makes us feel cool a strong and very fast moving wind is called a storm a storm can be harmful as it can blow away things and damages property and life so storm blowing away things of air and wind uses of air and wind we use air in many ways air is needed by all living things for breathing aeroplanes fly through the air air is used to dry wet clothes wind helps a kite to fly wind helps a boat to sail wind turns the blade of a windmill windmills are used to grind grains pump water and generate power some musical instruments like flutes flutes and trumpets make sound when we blow air through them air is also used to generate electricity air pollution smoke from motor bikes cars buses and factories make the air dirty this is called air pollution what is called air pollution smoke from motor bikes cars buses and factories make the air dirty this is called air pollution now how can uh, we um, what happened what uh, if our air is polluted keeping the air clean we need fresh and clean air to breathe it is important for good health 
breathing dirty or polluted water can make us sick. We can keep the air clean by growing more plants. Plants keep the air fresh and clean because the plants take the carbon dioxide from the air and gives us oxygen. So we need to plant more trees, growing more plants. Now, air has a ox gas oxygen in it. Oxygen is very important for breathing. Oxygen is also needed for burning. Without it, things cannot burn. Oxygen is very important for our uh, breathing and also important for burning. No, without oxygen, uh, no things cannot burn. A very fast moving wind is also called a gale or cyclone. Now, points to remember in this chapter what we uh, learn all living things need air. Air is all around us. We cannot see or touch air. We can only feel it. Air fills up empty spaces. Air has weight. Moving air is called wind. When air becomes dirty, we say it is polluted. We should grow more plants to keep air fresh and clean. Up to this, my dear students, I hope you understand this uh, today's class. You will read this chapter 11 at your home attentively and try to do the exercise and draw, label and color this picture. This is your homework after the youth vacation and this is the assignment. You do this assignment and this assignment is from your book page number 112 and 113. My dear students, uh, hope you will uh, stay fine and till then keep well. Assalamu alaikum.